Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Today we're shopping at Trader Joe's. This week the items that I previewed in last week's video have now arrived in stores, so let's go shopping and check it out. The Be Mine succulents are back. I know it's after Valentine's Day, so I'm not sure if there was a shipping delay, but here they are. There's both a pink and white vase with either a cute little girl or boy on it for $3.99. Also, there's assorted bulbs in a nice glass container for $5.99. Here's a new item, a new flowering plant, ornamental helborus for $10.99. Also, yellow forsythia branches are back for $6.99. Daffodils are also back in season for $2.99 a bunch. Yellow dragon fruit is also back for the season and they are $3.99 each. We also have pineapples and two pound bags of organic kiwis for $4.49, mini watermelons for $3.99, and galea melons, which is a cross between a honeydew and cantaloupe, are $3.49. Sometimes the selection of salads are low, but right now there's so many to choose from. The barbecue and black pepper Toscano chopped salad basically has a barbecue sauce dressing and it's very sweet. I feel like they carry this for half of the year, and this is $3.49 a bag. 12 ounce bag of organic asparagus for $4.49 and $2.99 for the regular bag. Also lots of kombucha flavors for $3.49. Pineapple is one of my favorite flavors. Elderberry and juniper tasted a little medicinal to me. Pink lady apple and also a citrus immune boost with vitamin C. Butter almond thins are delicious. They're $2.99 a box. And just notice that the butter waffle cookies, I thought these were new packaging, but it was laid on its side. Um, these are good on its own, or a lot of people like to dip this in the sweet cannoli dip or have it with ice cream. It's just so good. And this is also $2.99 a box. Now for the first new item, the spicy meat pizza with Calabrian smoked sausage, meatballs, and grilled red peppers. I can't wait to try this because of the nice thick crust. Let me know if you're a crust person or not. Uh, 310 calories for a quarter of the pizza with 15 grams of protein per serving. Sodium is 640 milligrams, which is probably due to the sausage. Reviews have been good so far, and this is $5.99 a box. The chicken sausage and cheddar cheese breakfast bake was a new item towards the end of last year. You can cut this up into four pieces and kind of meal prep with it and have it throughout the week. Not the healthiest breakfast, but it does have 16 grams of protein. It is a little pricey though, at $8.99 a box. The double chocolate wafer cookies have returned. Cocoa wafers with chocolate cream with a hint of hazelnut. These were also new last year. Just a few of these on top of a scoop of ice cream is really yummy for $3.49. Now let's take a look at the new item section. We saw the pecan popcorn come in last week for $2.99. Here's a new coffee, an organic breakfast blend, a medium roast that's mellow and smooth. These are whole beans, so you will have to grind it up, and this is $8.99. The hold the cone tips are finally here. These are waffle cone tips filled with dark chocolate. For the people who love the dark chocolate tip at the end of the mini hold the cones, these are for you. A lot of reviews have said that these are just okay though, nothing remarkable, and I actually prefer more ice cream in the cone. These are 30 calories per piece and can be eaten like a cookie or you can add it as an ice cream topping and have a deconstructed cone. These are $3.99 a box. We have another new coffee, a fair trade organic Bolivian blend in medium dark roast with notes of sweet caramel. This is also a whole bean coffee, 12 ounce bag that needs to be grinded for $8.99. We saw the cereal bars and pizza chips, brookie clusters and strawberry popcorn come in last week, but this unscented deodorant is definitely new and comes in this hard cardboard container. It is free of aluminum, baking soda, paraben, and phthalates. Here's a closer look at it. It has a twist top. It's nice and smooth to touch and pretty dense and solid, so it doesn't glide on the best at first, but it will probably get easier after each use. And this is $4.99. Okay, everyone loves the cream yogurts and they come in a six pack. This one has bananas and cream and then mangoes and cream, three of each. And then this one has Meyer lemon and raspberries. This is the one that I've tried before. And this is like a fan favorite with toddlers and kids and a six pack is $3.99. And now they came out with these individual serving sizes of the cream yogurts so you can mix and match the flavors any way you want. These are also four ounces, which is the same size as the ones that come in 
in the six pack. It's just in a different shape container. I love these, but I usually don't get them because they're low in protein at four grams and the sugars are high at 16 grams. But as a dessert option, these are amazing. It literally tastes like a custard dessert, more so than like a regular Greek yogurt or regular yogurt. The flavors I've seen so far are lemon, raspberry, vanilla, and blueberry, but no mango or banana yet. And some moms like to freeze this and give it as a frozen treat to their kids. And these are 69 cents each. Another returning item is the lemon alfredo sauce, which I've heard really good reviews on from a lot of people. Ingredients are pretty minimal, which is good, and this is $3.99 a jar. And since we're in the sauce section, I just wanted to show you one of my favorite sauces, the organic roasted red pepper and almond pesto sauce. This is so flavorful, very rich, and a little goes a long way on pasta. You can also add this to sandwiches, also $3.99. The cinnamon sugar almonds were new a couple weeks ago, and I've been really curious about these because they sound amazing, and that was today's sample. Thank goodness I went with my gut instinct and didn't buy these. I'm just not a huge fan of yogurt covered nuts, and these were exactly that. It was really really sweet, very yogurty and creamy with a mild cinnamon flavor and the almond shell kind of separates from the almonds so you get a few dry pieces of that. These were just okay. So that's it for shopping this week. Let's get straight into the haul. I picked up an onion and some tomatoes to add to guacamole and to have with my turkey burgers. A bag of kale, I get this every week, which I normally eat for breakfast or throw into soups or smoothies. Some bananas and chicken soup because you probably can hear from my voice, I am sick again. Also stocked up on some canned beans and realized I picked up tomato sauce instead of diced tomatoes. A bag of limes because I've been loving squeezing some lime juice over my fruit bowl at night for my dessert. I'll squeeze it on apples, grapes, dragon fruit, sumo oranges, berries. It just brightens up the flavor. I haven't had salmon in a while and it sounded good to me. I wanted to have this with some salad or with some sweet potatoes and some microgreens to throw over my turkey burger patties. These microgreens are really good. They're not bitter at all. A bag of shishito peppers, which I like to spray some avocado oil and salt over, which makes a nice quick side to a meal or just to have as a snack. I've been loving zucchinis lately. The key is leaving them on the pan a little bit longer so it almost tastes a little grilled. Now moving on to my Sam's Club haul, which is where I pick up most of my produce. Cauliflower, I like to roast this up and have throughout the week for a quick side. And oops, I almost forgot to show you that the new seasonal stickers are out at Trader Joe's for St. Patty's Day. They're so cute. Remember, these are always free at checkout, so just ask your cashier when you're checking out at the register and they'll rip some off for you. Always get asparagus from Sam's Club because they have the best price for asparagus. Costco usually charges $8 to $9 a bag for it, and that's for the non-organic. Sam's Club doesn't always carry organic celery, so when I see it, I get it. I want to make celery juice with it. That sounds refreshing to me right now. I feel like every other week the green grapes have been super crunchy and sweet, and this is that week. Yellow dragon fruits are back. I got this last week as well, and I forgot to post it. It was $5.96 for three, but this week they went down a dollar and were $4.86 for a three pack, so I bought two. It's so good with some fresh lime juice squeezed on top, and then also got some romaine lettuce. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and until the next video, ciao guys!